In this video, I'm going to teach you how to memorize chemical formulas. So chemical formulas are these bad boys you see right here. I'm not going to focus on how to memorize them in a specific context. So for example, we have this table. You have aluminum, the element ore, and then the formula. So all of these formulas have aluminum in them. So I'm not going to focus on that because there are so many different ways to actually use chemical formulas. And depending on how you're going to use them, you might memorize it in a different way, a slightly different way. But what I'm going to teach you in this video is going to work across the whole board and is essentially what you're going to be using when you need to memorize chemical formulas. All right, so let's get started. So as you can tell, chemical formulas are just a combination of all these different elements that bonded together. And so right here, that's just aluminum. We have two aluminums and three oxygens. All right. And so how do you memorize this? Well, the first thing is you need to memorize all of these. So you need to memorize that hydrogen is an H, gallium is a G, A, and then, you know, um, ruthenium is RU. So you need to be able to memorize the chemical symbols for all of the elements on the periodic table because these chemical formulas are just the chemical symbols for the specific elements. So yes, this alone, you know, might be a little bit tedious and it might take some time to actually, you know, memorize the different chemical symbols with um, the actual element themselves. But that is something you need to do in order to be able to memorize chemical formulas. Okay, so this will be step one to memorize all of these different chemical um, symbols. Might take a while, might be tedious, but no, I guarantee you after you got this one time, you know, and you make sure that you practice it and review it, you're going to be set for life. Because believe me, if you're studying something like chemistry or organic chemistry, this comes up a lot because all of how the elements bond together and all the different, you know, chemical formulas that you can be seen, this is something that is really necessary. So how do you actually memorize the chemical formula? Well, let's say, for example, you have this, Al2O3. So you have aluminum and oxygen, two aluminum, three oxygens. So what you would do is you create a story between these elements. But what you need to do is you need to make sure that you keep the order straight. Because, for example, if you have, you know, Na3F6Al, you have a totally different element or compound, but more importantly, uh, something's completely wrong with the formula because the way the formula is actually written lets you know a lot about how the structure of the molecule actually looks like. So order does matter when it comes to memorizing chemical formulas. So say we do have that Al2O3. So aluminum, I think of foil, right? So I have foil. So I have two of them. So maybe I picture two tin foil hats, you know, from like a particular um, brain from like, you no. Know, government rays or like aliens things like that so two tin hats all right oxygen i have three of them oxygen i think of ox okay or you can think of like a oxygen tank so maybe i think of an oxygen tank and so i see two oxygen tanks having the aluminum hats right but then i see a third one come by and steal them and run off okay so boom that's that's my picture i see these two aluminum hats um on the counter two oxygen tanks put them on then a third oxygen tank came came along stole them both and ran off maybe even jumped out a window okay and maybe i'm storing this in the memory palace okay so maybe it's my kitchen and that's why i picture boom so when i need to recall the formula I'm like okay yeah what was that formula Ooh, oh yeah i saw these two tin hats okay so so that means aluminum two Okay, then I saw these two oxygen tanks put the hats on, and then a third one stole it and jumped out the window. Oh yeah, there was three oxygen tanks, so it's going to be O3. Boom. Now, like right here, this is the name for this chemical formula. But when you actually you know, study chemistry, there's like a naming system that you use to come up with these different names for all different chemical formulas that you see. And so, you know, this is probably a name because it's very common, you see it a lot. Um, you know, th there's a lot of different chemical formulas that you never actually use, so you have to, uh, you know, use the naming system to come up with a name for it. But things that are very common that you see all the time has, has specific names for it. Not the name that you would use or create from the name system, but just something people decided to call, hey, this chemical formula, this compound is XYZ. Alright? But that is how you would actually memorize chemical formulas. That's the same process for all of these different things. Now, of course, you get a little bit more advanced depending on how many chemical formulas you need to memorize, why you're memorizing them, then the system to how you would actually memorize chemical formulas would be a little bit different because you would want to try to reduce you know, the amount of repetitions of all these images that you're seeing over and over again. You know, how about, you know, you have six right here. 
how can you make those into like modifiers as opposed to you know having a number system or seeing you know six or five of these different images that you're picturing so you no know, this is just a quick um i just give you a quick method to memorize chemical formulas um depending because depending on how you're actually using them your system for memorizing chemical formulas could get a little bit more complicated but be more efficient at the same time so hopefully you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching